just spent $5,000 on all these shoes. To make things even more interesting, I got no clue what's inside these boxes. Well, I guess besides this one, because it comes with no box. So today we're going to be unboxing all these shoes to see if I got my money's worth or not. And then I'll be picking out some that I like as well for my personal collection. And whatever I decide not to keep, I'll let you guys get. So if you're interested in anything, hit the link down below, shopdnashow.com. And anything that's left will be available on the website. Let's go ahead and take it to the studio so we can start unboxing these. Because we got a lot of shoes. All right, first up right here we have it looks like a nike id box and it has oh this is dope you got a brown dust bag on here air max 180 these are clean what size is this i might have to keep these oh this is a 13 we are we might be off to a hot start already all right next up right here we have a nike air force one sf mid and this is definitely a pass for me but this is a solid shoe high quality materials i like how they went about it when it comes to the execution Definitely a nice shoe. Next up right here, we have a Jordan box, Air Jordan Future size 12. Ah, oh, man, so many memories behind the days. Man, this is crazy thinking about this time. So this is a very, very clean shoe. Got your Air Jordan 11 midsole and bottom. And then on the upper, it's all fly knit right here or the future, not fly knit, but future, the materials that they went on here. It's got the little piping and everything. Very comfortable shoe as well. All right, next up right here, we have an all white box. Now, typically when we see one of these boxes, that means it is a sample and that is correct. Size 12, we have an Air Trainer SC2 boot. And uh, this is a clean shoe. I feel like it's gonna serve its purpose. The materials feel really nice on these. Somebody's gonna enjoy these. And you got the little sample tags inside of here as well. Yeah, I think this would be a cool little, you know, first sample for somebody's collection. All right, right here we have Nike Air Max Lunar One. Ooh, man. White and red colorway, classic OG vibes. Lunar on the bottom, switch up on the materials on the upper. Very, very dope shoe, but this is size 12. I would keep these if this was a 13, but it's a 12, so somebody's gonna like these. All right, right here we have a Nike ID flipping off the lid. Another one, Air 180. This colorway is fire, bro. Ooh, size 13? Yeah, these might be going home with me. So right here, we got a Blazer Low, size 12, clean shoe, great everyday sneaker. See, stuff like this is something that we might throw up on there for 40 bucks or something. Who knows? I don't know. But these are, you know, the everyday cops. I like this as well because I'm going to show you guys a lot of shoes that you guys probably don't see that often. All right, right here, we have Nike Dunk High Pro SB. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, <laughs> De La High's OG, and they're signed? Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, but I think I might have to keep these. Hey, real quick, just wanted to let you guys know, every single item that you purchase from the site will be a raffle entry in for a chance to win a pair of Black Cat 4s in your size. I will be announcing the winner on Christmas Day. Good luck to everybody. All right, let's get back to the video. All right, next up right here, OG Box, Air Max 95 clean colorway right here is this like the photo blue or something like that university blue unc blue black on the upper all leather materials feels really really nice this is the old days back in the days this is a good shoe right here somebody's gonna enjoy these all right next up we got a skinny box daybreak vintage uh-oh kicking it old school size 13 do i need some vintage shoes in my life i feel like this might oh no am i oh no check the website because i might have to keep these but I feel like this is a great everyday shoe. All right, right here we got an Air Presto triple black. You can never go wrong with these. Man, this is a great shoe. Now I have a ton of these, so I I, I want to put these on the site just so you guys can enjoy the comfort and the everyday lifestyle living in this sneaker because I love these. All right, right here we got Nike Roshi Run. Oh, is this like a tech upper? All black, white bottom. Kicking it kind of old school right there. I thought they brought the Roshis back, but I'm not mad at these at all. I think this would be a good one too. I got a what size, oh, that's a 12. Damn. Well, we got a sample box, another Roshi, or is this like the Cortez Roshi collab type thing? What is this called? Roshi LD 1000. So clean shoe, all black on the upper, black. Damn, the leather on these is nice too. This is a good little everyday sneaker. You got the sample tag on here, promo sample. Oh yeah, this is nice. All right, next up right here, we got a nice and dusty Air Jordan box. Jordan V.2 Grown. Ah, oh, here we go with these again. The Groans. <laughs> $20, who want them? $20, who want them? Come and get it. <laughs> hey, but one thing I can say is, I put a lot of shoes on the website for $20, $40, $50, $35. 
and a lot of people bought the stuff last time we did this video go click on the link immediately after this video because trust me people will be like eating this stuff up so quick like these are good deals on everyday shoes all right right here what we got Ooh, ooh, olivia kims these are clean is this a oh ooh, 13 and a half ah oh, but it's a women's release so that's like a 12 man's i don't even think i could fit this but very very dope colorway something unique right here i like these a lot damn ah this is clean ah, i wish these was my size okay next up right here nike zoom stefan janowski oh my gosh bro <laughs> okay sorry but for me the memories during this time this is crazy right here you got the digi floral upper great shoe great great shoe please tell me this is it's a 12. ah it's a 12 bro i used to have these back in the day i used to wear these a lot actually and uh don't have them anymore and this is this is a good one right here all right what we got right here nike air force one downtown lw yo this is crazy because this is like the python or snake or whatever they call it but this shoe is actually like low-key like hard to find and expensive like this is a nice shoe Again, something different, a switch up. The downtown is like a lower cut model of an Air Force One. And then they go with crazy premium materials on these releases. Got the different box, the different stuff like that. This is a nice shoe right here. All right, right here we got an SB box, the gold and black era. Okay, Blazer SB. Ooh, ooh, these are clean. Okay, now I don't like, y'all know I don't really like Blazers. I like SB Blazers more than regular Blazers. But this is a clean colorway. I respect it. I like the splash of the blue clean what's the what's the uh name of it again blue chill yeah this is cool i like these but it's a size 12 so i mean whoever wants them go ahead you can have it all right right here air safari vintage Ooh, clean colorway so y'all remember when the safaris was dropping you got the canvas on the upper the safari print on the back end the details the materials this is a nice shoe honestly what size is this this is a oh it's a 12 a 12 i ain't gonna lie this is a great everyday shoe especially in the fall time okay next up right here nike flight bonafide oh no oh no <laughs> you got the multicolor flight in on the upper <laughs> oh no <laughs> these are bad bro these are bad but i don't know somebody might like them hey if you two eat your own go ahead it's all you bro nike free and never woven Ooh, ooh, man Chinese finger trap vibes. These things are dope. Ah, I like these, man. This is a shoe that like I low key always wanted, but I never got. And then like I would love to grab it on a scenario like this. And it's a size 12. So what am I gonna do with that? All right, right here, Nike ID. What do we have inside? <laughs> Yo, now we're talking. This is crazy. Kobe 6 Nike ID. Looks like kind of like a Christmas or like a Gucci colorway. Please, baby. Please, please, please tell me. Size 12 and a half. Ah, if I can make this fit, I'm going to do it. But if not, I'll give you guys dibs. These are fire, bro. What? All right, I'm sure you guys can see these sitting in the corner. They don't have a box, but we have the lace locks un this it's not even open yeah it's not open yet and then you got the fear of gods right here this is like a bay size but i don't know what size it is though never looked i didn't want to like look too deep into the shoes looks like we got the extra shoelaces in here here we go yep we got the extra shoelaces in here to match with the upper and then what size is this this is a four and a half size four and a half bay size so that's men's four and a half yeah so if you're interested Another great addition right here. Doesn't have the box, but it's got all of the stuff. These are dead stock as well, so great shoe. If this was my size, I would definitely be keeping these, but obviously this is like the complete opposite of my size, like the smallest size you can get. So this is probably like a rare size, actually. All right, right here we got the Feng Tay box. You know what that means. We got a sample on the inside. What we got right here, Nike Air Force One Lunar. Where's the sample tag? Make sure, confirm. Yep, boom sample on here on the upper you got the straps that go along with it this is more like a canvas material and then you got all leather on the upper it's dope how it's like kind of like seamless it doesn't have the stitch lines on here this is a crazy shoe right here super super light as well what size are these this is oh we got a sample tag on the side this is a size 12. okay i don't know where things are at with the tracker so far but hopefully 
we're making up for it. We got we got a good amount of shoes left over here, so I don't know. We'll see. I, there's been a couple little bangers in there. I'm hoping there's some more stuff. Otherwise, I don't know. It might be down bad, but <laughs> we still got a, we, we're about like a third of the way through. So I hope you guys are enjoying this. Again, let's go ahead and get into the next one right here. What we got? Nike Pippin Six. Pippin Six sample right here. TPU wing. Okay, so they probably did some switch ups on the materials on here. You got the sample tagged up. What size is this? This is a 12. These are clean. These are clean. So I am, I don't know, like I would like to have these, but I'm like, I can't wear them. So I feel like it's better for me to let y'all get a chance to get these, but I'm not mad at these at all. Nike Flyknit Roshi Run. Okay, back with the Roshis, real comfy. Honestly, this is solid. I'm sure, I don't know, we'll probably throw these up for like 40 bucks, 50 bucks. I don't know what the price will be, but this is a solid little shoe right here. You can't go wrong with these. All right, what we got here? This one's kind of heavy. Air Max 90 Premium. Oh, man. Oh, man. Look at the materials on these. This suede is crazy. Yeah, these are fire. King of the Mountain on the back end right here yeah these are clean translucent on the bottom okay wait what size is this oh this is a 13 with the with the leather on the side liner hold on now wait a minute all right what we got right here man my hands is all turning dirty this box is dusty bro all right what we got air max 90 leather another one a leather on the upper this is that blue colorway is it say the exact color of the blue vivid blue on here on the upper I like these. Again, you can't go wrong. What size is it? Uh-oh, this is a 13. I feel like I can't take all the Air Maxes. I gotta, I gotta share them too, so I'm gonna have to make my debates. Again, check the website. You guys will see what's available on there. All right, what we got? Sock darts. Oh yeah, triple bike. Just like the Prestos. Again, amazing shoe right here. This is a size 12 though, so I can't make it work, but trust me, you're gonna love these. Okay, right here we got Nike Free Run Plus 2. Oh man. Ah, I used to have the all gray pair of these. This is a great shoe. I used to love the, I wore these every day when I was training back in college for like one of the years, but either way, this is a great shoe right here. All right, next up right here, we got no tag on it. Oh baby, oh baby, yes, 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 yes. Okay, oh, this is crazy, all right. 21, 21, 21, 21 Savage Nike Air More Money. Look at the back tab. 21, 21, 21. You got the ski mask on there, the 21 on there with the knife. And then you got all the different shrouds that go along with this. It's a knife, it's a knife. This sample is crazy, bro. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you guys have ever even seen this shoe before. Savage mode on there. This, this shoe, boy, yeah. These are definitely going home with me. Speaking of that, I'm going to make a review of this so you guys can see the in-depth details of these because I can't believe he threw this in there. That's crazy. All right, what we got right here? That's wild. <laughs> okay, Footscape Woven Chuck of Premium. Ooh, bruh, these are fire too. Okay, so the woven foot scapes is coming back you got the upper just so far with the black suede you got the different colors on the bottom this this is just so clean i love this i like that you know it's like bringing back memories right here this is good stuff all right what we got here oh i already know what this is yeah Ooh we please tell me these are new if not i am not mad you got the airship in their dead stock let's go Let's go. You got the airships. This is the real shape of the airships, by the way. There's differences. I might have to, I might have to slide on these bad boys right here. These things are fire, bro. Airships, real leather, very, very limited drop. They reversed the boxes. They did all this stuff. Now we're talking, we're heating up. We're heating up. All right, what we got right here? LDV Vintage, another one, another one. These are clean. Actually, okay, wait a minute. I was talking about that, that yellow pair earlier. Oh, this is a 12. Yep, looks like the yellow pair is my only option. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put these on the site. All right, another sample box right here. What do we have on the inside? Ooh, LeBron Zoom Generation 1. You got the wheat with the leather upper. Sample tagged on here as well. These are a size 12, brand new dead stock. You got the tags and everything. I'm gonna let y'all get a crack at these. Another sample box. Let me crack this thing open, bruh. 
Oh, we. What is the? Okay, Air Zoom Flight Five. Let me make sure I'm correct on here. Air Zoom Flight Five sample. Sample tagged on there. These are hard, bro. All white with the little iridescent just area right there, giving you them alien vibes at the same time. I might have to slide on these. I ain't gonna lie. All right, next up, another sample box. Yo, they're going. Appreciate you, bro. You, you know, I, I like this. I am not mad at this. This, this is a good one. We've had some good stuff, by the way. I didn't got off-white Prestos, some other samples, some SB, some crazy stuff in the previous buyouts. This is a good one, though. I'm not mad. A lot of samples in here. A lot, you know, people can't get samples every day. Like to have your first pair of samples, even if it's a simple sneaker like this with a blazer. To have a sample tag in a shoe, like to start that collection. I remember, the, the only reason why I'm saying that is because I remember the days when I was trying to go after my first pair of samples. My first, you know, it's like, it's not easy to just do it. And then obviously like samples be like crazy expensive, thousands of dollars, but there's ones that you can find out there for affordable prices. So hopefully I can give you guys the best deals on these as well. Okay, next up right here, we have the Nike Free Fly Knit Chukka, another one. These are clean, bro. All blue on the upper. Different vibes, something different. Again, like I said, every time I do this, there's always just different shoes in here. Stuff that you just don't see every day. The typical classic hype stuff. Like, I like that it's like this. Some people might call it bricks. Great, it's a $30 shoe. Who's tripping? Like, if you'll be able to rock this with comfort, and honestly, y'all know what I'm talking about. You wear a shoe like this out in public, you get more compliments wearing these than you do the new uh, Orange Lobsters or the, the Pine Green SB4s. Like, it's crazy how it works, but this is a nice shoe. Roshi LD 1000, another one. This olive colorway is fire. The black one I thought was solid, but this olive colorway is clean. All right, next up on the list, Footscape Woven Chukka, another one. And these things are brand new. Damn. It's like a wool on the upper kind of vibe, all black. This is clean. When I'm talking about comfort too, yeah, these are the ones. Trust me, you are not gonna be mad at these. All right, right here, what do we got? Air Jordan 1 Alpha. The Alpha 1s in the royal colorway, bringing back memories, bro. <laughs> Yo, hey, okay. These things may look like some orthopedic shoes or something like that, but they are comfortable. Way more comfortable than your normal Jordan 1s, so. Again, you might be young and you want to wear them, but you mostly see the old heads rocking these, but I understand why they rock them. These things are very comfortable. And it still gives you the look of like the Jordan 1 and you got the Royal with the OG colorway. Are these better than the Suede Royal 1s? Chill. No tag on the box, so you know what that means. We might be looking at another sample in here. What is this though? I don't even know what this is. What we got, a sample in here? Yeah, this is it. Nike Free Orbit 2. This is a EXT sample. Size 13. I think we've got something like this before, actually. I had not got a white pair in the past. But again, free bottom, Orbit 2 on the upper right here. You got the zipper with the lime green vibe, vault color, whatever you want to call it. I don't know if these are comfortable or not because I never wore them. It's all spiky and hard on the front end and a little bit softer with the suede. I'm interested in these, though. I might have to just try them. Oh, wait, no, I can't even try these on because this is a 12. No, this is a 13. I might have to try these on. All right, next up, Air Jordan Spizike. Oh, shoot, what colorway is it? <laughs> oh, well, I, mean, I guess this one's cool. This is like the bread for kind of colorway to it. Black cement, whatever you call it. Well, I guess they, black cement, actually, I think there is a black cement colorway, which is like the black cement threes. So I can't say that. So I think this is like bread colorway, but I just wanted something a little bit older. You know what I'm talking about? Like Kings County, do the right things. You remember that era? Oh, that was a good time with the Spizikes. But yeah, this is cool. Honestly, I'm not mad at these. Some people still appreciate Spizikes. I don't actually, I don't not appreciate Spizikes. I just don't really be wearing them like that because I prefer the retros. Whole nother conversation. Either way, great shoe. Next up, we have the Air Max 90 Deluxe. Extra dusty, extra crusty, but nice materials on the upper. Maybe you could redo the bottoms. I don't know. It's, the midsoles, they feel like they're intact. It's just the paint is chipping. The, the materials on the upper is just on point though. You got like the ostrich on the upper with the different, these things are nice. You just really need to do the midsoles over. This is crazy, honestly, the way these things are like aging. I wonder if this was like translucent or yellow before. With the leather on the insole, these things are cool. All right, what we got right here, Air Presto Essential. Okay, so when they went to this, I was kind of salty because I like the Prestos and then they went with this and like changed it up and I gave it like the modern era Presto. 
And I was like, bruh, just bring it back to Prestos, but I'm not mad at it. So this is a good shoe. They're still comfortable. All right, next up right here, we got a Nike Lab Air Footscape woven. Uh-oh. Another one with the Lab. Oh, these are fire. With the leather on the... Oh, this one might be the best one. Simple, clean, and effective. And they're brand new. These are clean. I am just... I'm not mad. This is some good stuff today. All right, Air Trainer Max 94 Premium Quick Strike. Oh, yo, is this the ESPN ones? It is ESPN on the tongue. Or no, my bad, not ESPN, my bad. <laughs> EA Sports, EA Sports. EA Sports on the tongue, EA on the back. This is crazy. These are fire, bro. I remember seeing these back in the day. That's crazy. Yo. All right, here we go, here we go. What we got? Footscape woven, another one. Okay, these ones is clean, but they're not as good as the last one, in my opinion. These are clean though. All black, you got the white, blue, couple couple different colors with the blue and the gray, kind of speckled in there on the woven. Clean with the footscape. Man, what's up with the footscape gang? This is hard. All right, what we got? Footscape woven chucka, another one. <laughs> Yo, this one is fire too. The red suede on here. Leather on the tab on the front. Oh, this is, a, is this leather? No, this is like some type of plastic material actually it's more stretchy with the nylon in the back these are hard man i can't keep all these i know y'all better stop playing hey this shoe so comfortable all right what we got nike free plus run two this is definitely not a nike free plus run two what is the name of this sample tagged up nike conform nike conforming nike conforming size 12 super soft i wonder if these are comfortable they honestly look like they're really comfortable definitely a huge switch up nice little sample to add to the collection if this wasn't a 12 i would actually consider these all right here we go another sample box there are a lot of samples in here this is actually crazy air more up tempo air more up tempo regular oh is this okay black and white what kind of sample did they run on this it looks like the past couple releases ago, but this is a clean shoe. Classic, iconic, nostalgic. You cannot go wrong with these at all. This is nice. I'm honestly very shocked right now. I don't know what the what the count is for how much we're at or what the estimate value is, but there's like five, 10, 15, 20. There's about like 25 shoes left. We've gone through a lot of shoes. This is actually a really, really good haul. Nike ID. Ooh. Ooh. Cement 3 colorway on the Air Max 1. Red Nike Air on the back. Red unit on the bottom. <laughs> These are fire. All right, right here. Air Max 180, Air 180s. Yo, another clean colorway. Crazy materials. I love how they had, back in the day when they were dropping the 180s, like they were coming correct when it comes to the materials. Size 13. There's like three or four pairs that we've gone through already just in today's video. Like, with the leather on the sock liner. I might have a great debate on which pair to keep, but this one is fire too. What do you guys think? Should I let these go? Or should I keep them for myself? Magma TZ, Air Magma TZ. Yo, hey, I heard that a lot of people like this shoe. Now, I've never worn it before, but I heard that a lot of people like this shoe. I don't know how much these is worth, so I have to look it up online or something, but you got the leather on the sock liner, really nice. You got the Harrier suede all throughout, and then you got that pink right here on the side. This is like one of those like fall, winter time, multi-purpose, outdoor type sneakers. Like everybody that I've seen likes to wear these, so it's good with the vibes, goes with a lot of different outfits. You got the embossed right here with the Nike logo on the side of the foot. All right, next up, Nike Free Fly Knit Chukka. That's definitely not a night. That's not a flight in check, bro. I'm lost for words. This is like the React Elevate 55 or something like that. Clean shoe. Looks like they've been worn, but definitely a very, very clean shoe. Somebody will enjoy these. I don't think this is my size. They do look small. This is like 11 and a half. Oh, it's a 12. Okay, so replacement box, but good shoe. Again, like I said, just bring in different stuff. Like, you know, we always see the same stuff on the internet. Prime example, another one, the Harachi NM. Remember when these came out? I feel like a lot of people are rocking these. What was this about like five, seven years ago? I feel like that was like seven years ago. 
how many years ago was this? 2015. So was that eight years ago, seven and a half years ago? I remember this era. I remember this time. I personally didn't get any, but I remember this time. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> Let's go. I already know what this is. I'm talking about a box. I hope the shoe is in there. Oh, yeah. They're wrapped up. I know for sure. The Air Jordan 23s. OG. Y'all remember the poster from back in the day? This is crazy. The 23s. You got the suede on the upper. These things are fire. What size is this? This is a 13? Boy, stop. I might have to do it. I got a pair already. Same colorway. But I be rocking mine, and they're low-key starting to get turned up right here on the front with the suede because I, I was wearing them in the rain a little bit back in high school. But either way, I think I think I might have to grab these. All right, we got three little stacks left. What we got right here? Nike Air Force One. Ooh, it's like a red canvas on the upper, leather on the swoosh, all red, red stitching. This is a clean Air Force One. Like, I am not mad at this. Dope. You got the orange Nike swoosh right there on the tongue, too. These are clean, size 12 though. I'll be struggling with the forces in size 12, bro. I don't think I can make it work. Damn, somebody's gonna like these. All right, what's right here? Presto, all blue, white, clean. Can't go wrong. I love me some Prestos. You already know what it is, man. What size is this? Extra large, so that's like a 12, 13. Sometimes they fit a little bit different too. I don't know, I gotta test these out, but I got enough Presto. I already got about like 10 something, 12 Prestos in my collection already, so. I'm gonna let y'all get these. Air Max 90 Winter Premium. Clean shoe, honestly, not mad at these at all. You got the winter bottom, so it's kind of like more of like, I guess textured or a deeper print on the outsole to cause more traction during the winter time, makes sense. And these are actually brand new. Uh, leather on the upper, all gray, you got the suede. You got the different kind of canvas right here. It's a lot more durable feeling. This is a nice little shoe. It's a little more fuzzier on the inside. These are cool. What we got here, Flyknit Racer. Whoa, multicolor Flyknit Racer. I know somebody, man, these are probably gonna go fast. These are gonna go real fast. Damn, this is a size 12. Ah, I would, I would for sure keep these. All right, next up, Air Trainer 1. Clean, clean, clean. I am not mad at these. Nice switch up, you got the Air Trainer 1. Gray with the pink with the black. More of a like, it's like a canvas in the back, but it's like real like gooey, like sticky. Like it feels like it has like a lot of traction. Not like it's like messed up or anything, but just like it has a lot of traction to it, which is weird because it's on the back end of the foot. It's got a lot of texture to it, but either way, clean shoe. I like the trainer one. Let me know what you guys think about these down below in the comment section. I am not mad at these. I feel like you guys probably heard me say I'm not mad at these a lot today because there are some solid, <laughs> there's some solid options today. Okay, what we got? Oh, this is a promo sample. What is this? No, this is a... What kind of sample is this? I'm trying to see the, I'll look at the tag. Okay, so we have Air Force One AC. Again, like the other one, this is a little bit different and it's got like the anchors on there giving you that boater vibe, uh, but it's the Air Force One on there. And this is a look-see sample size 12. So clean shoe. Um, again, not for me because it's not my size and two, I don't know if I would wear these, but I could see myself literally getting on a boat rocking these with some with some little khaki shorts, you know what I'm saying? One day with the, yeah, look, eh, no? Oh, okay, all right. All right, what's up next right here? Air Max, no, Nike Max Transition. What is this? This is not a Nike Max Transition. Am I tripping? Is this, is this a Nike Max Transition? Maybe I don't know my shoes. Maybe it is, I gotta look that up. Where's my phone? I don't even know where my phone's at. I thought this was like a Hirachi. It says Hirachi on the tongue. Am I tripping? Maybe a replacement box. Either way, these are Hirachis to me. Uh, maybe I'm tripping, but let me know down below in the comment section. Clean little shoe. Again, I'm not the hugest fan of Hirachis. I'm very selective. So, especially with this colorway, I think it's a pass for me, but somebody will like it. They'll probably be on the site for like 20, 30 bucks, 40 bucks. I don't know, we'll see. All right, what we got here? Nike ID box. Ooh wee, my bad. Um, ooh. These are clean. What size is this? Gum bottom, white on the midsole, all. These are dead stock. What size are these? Ah, it's a 12. It's a 12. You got the black wax laces. Black, it's like a, it's like a gray, black kind of canvas upper with the black stitch, the black leather swoosh. These are solid. Whoa. Kicking it old school. Stop playing. Air Jordan 3, let's go. Oh, they kind of, but let's go. <laughs> These are 
kind of cooked, but I'm not mad at it. <laughs> it's just because, honestly, the leather on the upper is, like, not bad condition at all. But just with aging, the midsole is not falling apart. It's just the paint is starting to crack. So, realistically, you can get these repainted, whatever. A lot of different options when it comes to this, but very very nostalgic i guess not nostalgic i don't know just bringing back memories from 2008 like i remember this time i have these in my collection as well great great shoe i actually have a pair in rotation literally sitting right over there uh but yeah i like these a lot what do you guys think i we gotta put these on the site this is a 13 i gotta let somebody get dibs out of these because i i promise you even if you wear the shoe just like this like it still looks dope on foot, especially during the winter time, like a great winter time beater. All right, here we got a Jordan box, Air Jordan 11 Retro Low IE Obsidian White. Okay, you got the Obsidian White midsole, creamy on the bottom. I don't know if it, well, yeah, it's kind of a little milky on there. Clean shoe, honestly. I remember when these came out and I'm like, the materials, the leather on these is nice. It just, it's just so hard. There's so many shoes coming out. All right, right here, we got another sample box. The duck boot, oh shoot, Air Force One duck boot. These actually, I think are coming back out or came back, cause I'm pretty sure I saw these at Chic the other day. Uh, what size is this? This is a size 12. You got a sample right here, duck boot. This is a throwback though. This is like the first sample, not the new stuff. This is actually one of the older ones. This is fire. I always like these. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comment section. I always felt that this was a dope shoe. All right, you guys, we got five big old boxes left right here. So kind of already know what they are. I don't know what colors they are because I didn't open them up, but I know like the box, they're just big old Air Force One boxes. Air Force One, SF, SF Air Force One. Is that what you want to call it? Either way. Ooh, yo. Camo color. Now this one is the all tan one. It's like that desert camo. These are very, very clean, dead stock. These go for some good money, honestly. Like, it, they're actually kind of hard to find, especially in my size. This is what, 11 and a half? Yeah, this is a, this is a nice shoe right here, honestly. Like, I know it's not for everybody, but when people rock these, like, they do look dope. SF Air Force One Quick Strike. What do we have right here? All white. Oh, let me make sure my hands is good, because I know these boxes are a little dusty. All white Air Force One SF Quick Strike right here. Premium leathers. You got the straps, the triple strapped up on the upper with the laces and all the different stuff. The, the man, the leather on these is nice. Oh, these are fire, bro. It's just bringing back memories. Cause what was that? About five years ago, six years ago, something like that. It was what was that 2017? That era. There was like all these was dropping and everybody was loving them and stuff and. I like these. I don't know. I just like them. All right, this one's kind of heavy. What size is this? this is 11 and a half. This one's just still heavier than the other one. Oh, because it's got the bag in there. So these come with a bag as well on some of them. They have like this. I don't know if you guys can see it from the overhead or not, but it's got this bag. But this, man, this olive green, bro, with the gum bottom, brand new. Suede is crazy. This colorway, this is the best one so far. Out of the three, to me, this one. Let me know what y'all think down below. I'll be posting these on the site. They're not in my size, unfortunately, but this one I would 100% keep if these were my size. All right, what we got right here? Sample box, Air, SF Air Force One. What's the colorway on these? Ooh wee, ooh wee. This was the women's release, I wanna say. I'm pretty sure this was a women's release for this one in particular. You got the tags on there. This colorway. This colorway is fire too. I think I just like the patent leather, the element to it, just bringing a whole nother vibe to the shoe. All white on the bottom. You got the, is this leather? It feels like leather, yeah. You got the leather swoosh on here on the side, all the straps and everything. These are clean, bro. Damn, I know these for sure ain't my size. Yeah, 13 and a half in women's. Duh. Okay, this is second place right here. These are in second. All right, last but not least, what we got right here? Another sample box. Ooh, gum bottom. All leather right here on the upper. Do we, wait, no. Oh, no, no, we saw a different one. Okay, okay, that's right. I'm tripping, I'm like, did we already see this? But this is clean. Again, another one. I'm not mad at these at all. <laughs> I'm not mad at these. But again, what size is this? 12, not gonna fit me, not gonna work. So good luck to everybody on this one.
So this was definitely another great haul. And again, hit the link down below, shopdnashow.com. Anything you were interested in that I decided not to keep, it's all gonna be available on the website. So if you guys are interested in anything, make sure you grab something. And again, any orders that you purchase will also get you a raffle entry to win a pair of Black Cat 4s in your size. Giving these away for Christmas. So good luck. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this. And if you guys wanna see more videos like this, I think I might make another one. I would never let you down us in my DNA. Hey, the hey, only choice I like to make what I'ma wear today. One one I would never let you down us in my DNA. The only choice I like to make what I'ma wear today. I was made for it.